very special snowcast. We're coming to you directly from the Metro Ski and Snowboard Show at Olympia. As usual, there are loads of shops and stands to visit, as well as some exciting events to watch. We spoke to show manager Tim Holmes about what's new at this year's show. Well, this year at the show, we've got all the old favourites, but um, we've brought in quite a few new features this year, as I'm sure you can see. One of the major ones is the Land Rover Alpine Climb, which is um, a 38 degree slope, and the public can get in, the visitors can get in the Land Rover, be driven up the 38 degree slope, and then also um, go round while they're at the top, getting a great view of the show. There is also an Ice Kingdom, first time we've had a full ice kingdom this year. We've got curling, most people know curling because of the 2002 Winter Olympics when the British girls won the uh, gold medal. We've also got a big 150 meter squared ice rink and an ice bar with ice glasses and some chilled out tunes. In addition to that, we have um, the gallery level fully open this year. Um, the gallery level has never been open in full and on the gallery level, we've got a snow coconut shy. It's like an old fashioned coconut shy, apart from the fact you're throwing at snowmen and if you knock the head off a snowman, you get a free beanie. In addition to all our new features, we've actually got all the old favourites that you've come to expect from the show. We've got a big 40-foot kicker, which we've got the British Invitational Championships and also the London Ride being uh, held on. We have um, a fashion show with 10 different top snow sports brands such as Quicksilver, Rossignol, Salomon and a number of others. And we also have all your favourite stores and ex exhibitors. You can come here, get all your kit, upgrade your um, clothing and also look at the best holiday destinations for your coming season. The Ski Club and Ski TV are here as always. We are at stand 118, which is just over there. It comes directly left when you walk into the show and you'll see us. And new this year, we've got an information point. It's a one-stop shop for any info and advice you might need about snow sports and our team of experts will be happy to help. And now we've heard that Snowsport GB has launched a nationwide search for Britain's top snowsport talent. And Juliet Dyke went to find out more. If you've ever thought that you or your son or daughter might have what it takes to become the next Shemi Olcott or Dan Wakeham, then Snowsport GB want to hear from you. I'm here with Duncan Freshwater, who is the Performance and Pathway Manager at Snowsport GB. Duncan, welcome to Ski TV. Tell me a bit more about this initiative. Who is it for exactly? It's for any aspiring young athlete. Um, for years we've had uh, ski instructors and partners in the Alps asking us where do we go next. Parents are constantly wanting to find out if they have a talented child and how could they become the next Shemi Alcott. And what we've set out here is a talent trail to try and identify where you can access good training support that would take you on a path to become a next British superstar. Okay, so is it just for skiers or does it apply to other disciplines? It applies for all the ski-based disciplines, so that would also include Telema and Moguls and Ski Cross as well as the more uh, Ski Sunday oriented Alpine disciplines that we see on television. Okay, so if you're a young person and you want to take your skiing a bit more seriously, what is the next step? I think the first step is to identify where you would be within the talent trail. There's a couple of benchmarking tools you can use if you haven't ever tried racing before. And equally, on our website, we've got some descriptors for skills-based tasks relative to age, and that would give you an indication of where you are in the trail and therefore what would be the most appropriate training environment for you. Well, thank you very much. Now, a man who knows a thing or two about getting to the top is Alan Baxter, ski racer, and we caught up with him to find out what he thinks about this new initiative. I think the talent trail is a, a great idea. You know, it brings lots more people into the sport and uh, you know from a young age and they can progress through different levels and we basically need a lot more skiers in this country. There are lots of people coming through the ranks but we need to find more from a, from like a grassroots sort of level and keep them interested through the you know through the stages of skiing and ski racing so you, uh, you, know, you catch them early keep them interested keep them involved and uh, you know hopefully we'll bring some good ski racers to the, to the country. Now over 40,000 people visit the ski show every year, so we wanted to find out what you're here to see and also what resorts you're going to be visiting as well. Um, well I really fancy going on the Land Rover, um, I haven't had a chance yet, and I fancy a bit of curling as well. I managed to buy a sushi maker upstairs, <laughs> which is flipping good. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to stealing everybody's free stickers for my new equipment for the season. Get some discounted stuff and went ice skating which is pretty good, and yeah, massage which is also going quite well. In outdoors the whole season. And um, the last two years I've been in Paradise I'm going to be in Tina, I'm going to be in Poland as well. Yeah, I'll be um, out of France. Yeah, it is exciting, we can't wait.
we're looking forward to. Well, it's great to hear that you've got so many trips being planned, which reminds me I really need to get on and get my winter sorted. But despite being at the ski show, we couldn't forget about the snow. Kicking it off in Austria, it's, going to, it's expected to snow on Thursday across the country, but it is going to be sunny over the weekend. And in France, there's some good news. Les Deux Out will be open from this weekend for a week, so great news there. And now moving on to Italy, well, it's been quite cloudy in Valsinales this week, and good news is that possible snow will be possibly arriving, so uh, might be some light dustings in Valsinales. And in Switzerland, similar conditions. There's been a light dusting of snow in Santa Fe, and in Zermatt, again, it's very cloudy, so you never know, they might have some new snow there too. Well, down in New Zealand, um, Mount Hutt is going to close at the end of this weekend, so that's the season done for them. Now Olympus has been closed, but it's going to open just for a couple of days this weekend. And on the North Island, both Whakapapa and Tarora are expecting some snow. And finally, in the USA, you can still ski at Timberline at weekends. Now, remember, the Ski TV events are here again this year. Come along to our stand, we'll ask you a few questions and you can have five minutes of fame and you could win a pair of Dynastar skis. So that's it from the Ski Show for 2008. If you're here over the weekend, do come and see us on stands 118 and 119. We'd love to see you and catch up. And we'll be back next week for another snowcast.